Well, hello there. <laughs> I know I look like shit because I've been up for two days watching videos about the Battle of Montgomery. And uh, they're too they're too funny. But I want to show you guys this. My friend Fed sent me this video. Watch this video and I'll be right back. I'm grateful that now I can see That I am a part of everything is a part of me. You're so this was in the description of that video two hours before the montgomery riverboat brawl began at the riverfront 30 young women had a ceremony honoring the ancestors at the montgomery riverfront where they fed flowers to the ancestors in the water divinely guided divinely protected we love you ancestors watch this video about why this makes a lot of sense watch this video and i'll be right back so the place where this brawl happened in montgomery alabama which is now being called bloody saturday happened at montgomery's riverfront park so if you look at riverfront park you see it's off the coast of a river of course what river you might ask well it's off the coast of the alabama river which flows right through it that part of the alabama river where the horseshoe bend is where riverfront park is used to be an auction block our ancestors were transported up that river unloaded there and sold and for context, so many black people were enslaved and sold in this part of the Alabama River by the riverfront that they had to build depots to warehouse them like objects until it was their time to go to the auction block. The place where this happened and this happened and this right here and of course this right here used to be a place where our ancestors, maybe their direct ancestors, were sold like objects, like animals. And it was possibly done by their ancestors. Yo, that's a hell of a perspective right there. Job well done, fellas. Ashe. There was a lot of history on that riverfront. A lot of our ancestors, our family, our spiritually connected people were there being sold, housed, seasoned, for slavery. And on that same river, in 2023, our ancestors were there. <laughs> this shit is so fucking deep now. It has so much more meaning. Yeah, we're all laughing at the brawl thing and we're all laughing at how these white folks got their asses beat. And we are <laughs> laughing about the chair. But if you actually think about the history that's there, and what happened, shit makes a lot of sense. Our ancestors were there. It's given us a newfound unity. There's a shift happening, y'all, with black folks. And you can see it across the world. You can see it here in the United States. You can see it here on the islands, Haiti. You can see it in Africa. There's a shift happening. Black people are tired. And our ancestors are here because now we are venerating them. We're not stuck in the hypocrisy of Christianity. It's time. It's time for the racism to stop and it's time for our people to claim what is rightfully our birthright. This video, these videos have been hilarious for the last couple of days, but this one here, this one makes you think. Remember, diversity equal power. We can change the world when we work together and protect black women. Until next time. I was born by the river <laughs> in a little tent. And oh, just like that river, I've been running ever since. It's been a long a long time coming but i know change gonna come oh yes it will